Hey guys, it's Gigi and Nats. Woo! And we are back to do our third makeup tutorial. I've done my girlfriend's makeup, I've done my fiance's makeup, but guess what? We're married. This is what I wore the day I got my makeup done to get married to you. Should I be wearing what I wore? In the past, I haven't gone full glam, and I think today is time for the full glam. I have a wig in mind for the end, which is gonna be, I think, fabulous. And also, oh my God, this is my new collection with Ipsy. This is like the box where you get every single product, and I actually just did a giveaway on my Instagram. This is one of the boxes that's gonna go out. I am so, so proud of this. Like, these are truly products that I use, like, every single day. We're gonna be really talking and going into this today on Nats' face. Have you seen this before? No, I haven't. And what do you think? I love it. Do you? Yeah, I think it's actually really major. Keeping it affordable was really, really important to me. Like I would, but you gotta put your hand behind it so you're a true yes. So I really wanted the formula to speak for itself and keep the packaging super minimal. I wanted to keep the quality there, but still in a price point where everyone could afford it because I know everyone's got rent to pay, got car bills, got cell phone bills. Not everybody has loads and loads of money to spend on products, but these are affordable and trust me, I am so proud about this collection. This is my first collection Woo! and I'm so excited about it. I feel like you're gonna hit me in the face. Oh, sorry. I'm so excited. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> are you ready to get? transformed oh yeah okay so we don't have AC right now so this is what we're doing in between shots <laughs> are you okay <laughs> let's do this let's get gorgeous also that was too hot that literally looks like a praying mantis on the bottom of the ocean okay so we're gonna go in with the La Mer regenerating serum this Real Techniques Beauty Blender is literally huge and actually, oh, you're right. Covered in stains. The treatment I got, I thought it was a VIP. That actually felt lovely. Did it? Yeah. It's like a little facial, right? Yeah, it's soothing. Next, we're gonna go in with the True Match L'Oreal Foundation in W2.5. And I feel like this might match you, but just like all of our other makeup tutorials, we're just gonna play it by ear. That seems like a lot. Not on my robe, please. That was a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a real gentle hand there, Jake. <laughs> you just gotta really get it in there. Oh. Um, yeah, you did. Oh, sorry, babe. We're gonna go in with Shape Tape in light. We're gonna make it a little bit lighter, but then we're gonna bronze you up with my bronzer. All right, look up. Let's blend. Without giving me a black eye. Oh, that looks so good. Look at your under eye. Next, the Pat McGrath, ooh, which is super dirty. I just traveled with it. Light medium skin fetish setting powder. Okay, the smell okay. is a little bit much. No, not even that, it just. I think I went a little overboard on the foundation, so I'm just gonna do you, this. You don't say. It's so hot. Oh! All the powder just went back in my eyes. Are you using yellow powder? Yeah, I think that was maybe the wrong shade. All right, so the skin is set, it is down, foundation is laid. We are gonna go in and fix the brows real quick. I was wondering if my celebrity shot would come in. It's like we're playing beer pong. Billiards. Billiards, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> featured in both. Come on, cut crease. <laughs> and then we're gonna brush the brows, and that's, we like to give her a little natural brow. Mm. Cause you don't like crazy brows, right? No. I mean, not, you have a straight brow, but then you also no. move your fucking forehead around a lot. Not fucking. <laughs> you move it around so much. So we, Are you I'm okay? I'm oh drooling. my God. What is happening to me? Nats, relax. <laughs> Literally, how do you expect me to in this environment? Sharing. Sure, now to get into my products. This is the Six Sculpt Bronzer Duo in Turnt and Extra. There's a little layer here that comes above your product just to ensure that you get a new little moment. It's fresh. Also, it's gold foil. I thought it looked really cute as an overlay over the product. We are going to go in with the Gorgeous Contour Brush, which has a synthetic tapered head. So, so soft, all white, with little gold metal accents. And of course, the little logo. <laughs> Honestly, I hadn't seen very many white brushes and I'm always scrambling for brushes So I think that this is a really nice touch to just easily find your new favorite brush because I know it will be 
<laughs> so specifically for the bronzers, I wanted to create two shades, which were in my realm of expertise. I wanted to create a super light shade, which is great for sculpting as well as bronzing, and then a darker shade for when you're a little bit warmer, you've had a little bit of sun or a spray tan, and you can warm yourself up even more. My nail also like ticked that. So these are new, but it's like a little tick on there. I felt comfortable making these shades because these are the shades that I've used for years and years and years. I can't wait to expand the collection even more, make darker shades, but these are the two that I felt comfortable with. So this is what I've come out with first. In no means are these the only colors that I think a bronzer should have. Both are extremely matte, no shimmer. So for Nats, I feel that we should use the light. These are sold separately, which is really nice. I've seen so many people get their PR boxes and say that they love it. Like I've seen like RCL Beauty, Lore DIY, Shane Dawson, like Amreezy. Colette, Amreezy, like, like oh my Amreezy God. Like went in. Yeah, like, oh my God, yes. Amreezy's was so turned. Shout out, homie move. I was so excited. Oh my God, every single time I see it, it gives me butterflies. It makes me honestly like so happy for you because like I've been sitting here for over a year now, right? That you've been developing this with Ipsy. Yes. I remember the first time you went to the lab and like I was super pissed I couldn't get with you or not get with you. You've already but been with me, honey. She's got a ring on it. I was super pissed that I couldn't go with you because like I imagined like putting on a lab coat and like you went and had an amazing time and you have your hands all over this. Like it's GG gorgeous like through and through. It's so fucking hot in here. Jade, not my wig. Not wig. the wig. Play with the wig. Anything but the wig. It's All right, Tiffany. Chaos. I'm going to call on my next celebrity shot to do the blush. Me? Okay, so we're going to take the gorgeous blush brush, which I am obsessed with. Honestly, I grew up using contour brushes that were shaped like this, but I honestly prefer a blush brush that's shaped like this because I feel like it disperses the product much more beautifully. So these are the two blushes. This one obviously is more orange blush. This one is super matte. And this one is a baby pink blush with shimmer in it. I wanted to give that option because sometimes, honestly, I don't know what to choose. I always want to go for an orange. It looks amazing literally on every single skin tone. It's very sheer with one layer, but it's also super buildable which I love because I'm a blush addict and of Sick. course no you're not I love a heavy heavy blush application but not everyone does so I didn't want to make it too heavy because I know not everyone's that crazy but I wanted to give it that capacity so these are sold separately which is fabulous so whichever you really gravitate towards you can get them separately today I'm going to be using both obviously because we're going glam wait which one's your favorite what is blush go where on your cheekies like Why right here. Okay, we're gonna start with this one first. Make sure to tap it. Not over Oh me. shit. Sorry, Nats. Okay, here. So All the way to the hairline. You have to judge by the look. You can't just like <laughs> what do keep you judge put by this look. Why so serious? Can you turn the monitor around? Do you like the sparkly? No idea. And now we're just gonna do this gorgeous shimmer. I love it! Personally, I like doing a little bit of the pink right on the smile. Right here, right, right there. She can get her to smile. It looks so pretty and you literally beam. So I noticed throughout the makeup tutorial that your lips were looking a little bit dry. So naturally, I, this is the Living Lip Balm in shade Natalia. And it says Gigi on the outside, and there's this gorgeous gold foil on the inside. Literally, when I'm telling you this is the only lip balm you will ever need, I am telling you this is the only lip balm you will ever need. And literally feels so moisturizing and not sticky or anything crazy. You don't need to keep reapplying. And I named this one after Nats because, well, I didn't name it Nats because I thought Natalia was like, I don't know, more, more luxurious, like her full name, it's more authentic. I thought I would keep the eyes actually super natural. I thought we could actually use the highlighter on the eyes. This is the Get Lit Highlighter. I love a good bronzy, bronzy, like Saint Tropez, just got off the beach, just got off the yacht, like very, very, very sun-kissed looking highlighter. So I made this shade to actually partner with the Gigi Glow. These are little liquid body drops and this form formula is insane. And whether you're actually getting off a yacht in Saint-Tropez or just using the self-tanner Saint-Tropez, it will literally look gorge on your skin. And this is like my favorite thing ever. It's like a very Bill Nye the Science Guy lid. Ooh. 
This I love super sheer on the skin or on the eyes. Honestly, so many days where I don't want to do like an artistry gorgeous look. I literally just take my highlighter and put it all over the lid in the sunlight. It sheens and it just gives you that like effortless like hello, I'm here look. It's like for the natural girl, it's gorge. For the glam girl, it's gorge. For the mediocre girl, it's gorgeous. Ah. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with literally one of my favorite liners ever. This is the Tartist by Tarte, double-ended liquid and pencil liner. So I'm just gonna try to snatch your eye. So just don't laugh. Okay, so how do we feel about lashes? Really? Actually, you know what? Once you share a lash, that's how you know. That's legit. Oh my god, it's coming together. Oh my god. It's my real lashes. Okay, you're pulling on them. Can I open it? Um, sure. Oh my god! They touch the roof of my... It like tickles my... It'll do that. Of my head. But just know that it looks gorgeous. What mm. tickle would go with? Yeah. Oh, he just yeah. ripped us. Oh, oh he did. you squeezed him too hard. I've been obsessed with this Tati Beauty Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. This palette is literally everything. And today, I'm going to go in with Ritual in matte. Just go in under the lash line. I can't get over the lashes. Something that you definitely have to be used to. Well, thank God you have the biggest eyes on earth and you don't need lashes. I kind of like, honestly, how it's looking. It's a little grungy, it's a little rock star. We are gonna go in with the KKW in shade Copper. Mm. I love how these glide on, it's so easy. I mean, honestly, this is where you lose me. I hate lining yeah. lips yep. for me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now we're gonna go in with the Patrick Ta, she's unapologetic. Rub your lips together. This is the less is more lip gloss in Get Into It. I am so obsessed with this formula. Literally, this is the only lip gloss that you honestly need. This product I actually do fuck with because guess what? It's not crazy pigmented. It doesn't come off like red or purple or whatever this color you just created on me is. Jumbo applicator literally can be placed over top any lip product, you only need one little swipe. Look at that. I would honestly love it more if it was just placed if it on was top just of my this. lips. Yeah. I was just having fun. <laughs> what? Is it crazy? No, no, no. I love it. I didn't know you were going this hand. Now going in with the gorgeous highlight brush. This is just a tapered, gorgeous brush that fits with the collection. It's all synthetic. It's all white. Oh my god, Nat. This is literally the part where she gets over it. I'm dying. I love this brush because it just so effortlessly glides on the top of these beautiful sculpted by God cheekbones. Get real. We're going to finish the makeup look off, of course, by the drama queen, Rich Lux. This is Sneaky from snake. Gerard Cosmetics. This is a Slay All Day setting spray, and this smells like, you tell me. Oh, Gigi. Oh, sorry, babe, close your eyes. I don't know what that smells like. Really, like orange. Maybe it's all the lipstick that I smell. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, we are going in with my favorite accessory ever. Birkin. Well, okay, when we talked about this, wigs were never but babe, really. The Bob wants you. I love you. Okay, that's not so bad. You didn't even brush it. Brush off the rock. What rock? The used rock? What are you Ew, doing? And then it gets in the lipstick. Oh, now you know. Who is she though? I don't know. Literally, don't know. who is she? Thank you so much for watching this transformation. This is the most in we've ever gone. Yeah, I didn't know that this was going to be part of the deal, but happy wife, happy life. I'm so excited about my Ipsy collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how the products work, seeing how they look. And until we see you guys next time, stay gorgeous. But babe, babe, not the wig. I'm done.